Hello everyone, it's JFunk, and today this video is going to focus on how you can migrate your existing WoW add-ons from the Twitch client to Cursebreaker, which I will be using personally to update my add-ons in the future. If, you, if you're wondering why, uh, if you live under a rock, recently Overwolf has announced that they will be taking over uh, the Twitch app. Instead of downloading your add-ons from the existing Twitch app, you'll be have to download a new uh, app the Overwolf app, and download it, your add-ons from there instead. Now, you may be wondering, why is that a problem? Well, Overwolf has this history of it placing ads into its client, and overall just kind of becomes adware on your computer for no reason. Um, but it says right here, will, will the new CurseForge app include ads? Yes, with an opt-out. Now, if you're like me, you don't like ads on your computer. <laughs> uh, so instead of downloading this overwolf client using that you could manually update your add-ons via the curse force website but again if you're anything if you're anything like me you're probably pretty lazy and you're probably not going to check every single day if your add-ons have updated and you'd rather have a, a program do that for you instead now with that i present to you the solution of curse breaker now curse breaker this link will be down in the description below but you can also just google it and find it as well it is an add updater it uses kind of a dos based uh, interface, but it is quite powerful, quite nice, and quite good. Um, so to, to start, you just download the, the latest Cursebreaker client by going to releases and download the exe here. And then you open up your World of Warcraft, you drag the exe into your WoW uh, directory, the base directory here. Make sure you make a, a backup of your interface folder before you do this. It'd be a smart idea. Uh, back it up on your desktop or wherever you want to do. It. However you want to handle that, go ahead. But then you can run the Curse Breaker program. It'll bring up this. And then you can start interactive mode. And then you'll do, if you're just starting this for the first time, to import your add-ons, you're going to type import. It's going to find all your add-ons that exist in the add-ons folder. And then you can do import install and it will install all of those add-ons. It'll, it'll have a little bit of a process. You'll have to wait a little bit potentially, but it'll install all the add-ons into Cursebreaker. Uh, and then later on, uh, after you've done that, after the first time you've used that, you can launch Cursebreaker. And then if you don't press anything, it'll automatically update your add-ons as soon as you launch, after five seconds after you launch it here. So it'll, I'm not pressing anything. It'll check all my add-ons and it'll say, hey, they're all up to date. You, you're all good to go. If they're not up to date, it'll, update, it'll download and update those add-ons. Uh, it is quite a powerful and useful tool. Uh, it doesn't have any ads, and it's very nice. <laughs> uh, this is what I'll be using in the future to update my add-ons going into Shadowlands, uh, and I'd recommend for you to do the same. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, make sure to have the comments down below. I'll, I'll try to put all the links, all the, all the like the uh, relevant links, down in the description below as well. Uh, but yeah, that's probably it. that's that's basically it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.